Well, obviously, uh, everyone in the state knows that we're in a severe drought. Um, we've uh, we've curtailed uh, burning across the state. Uh, in fact, uh, today we have announced, uh, and, I, and I signed it this morning, uh, so that the uh, burn ban extends to every county in the state of Alabama. Uh, we've had uh, 1,421 wildfires since the 1st of October. We've had over 15,000 acres of of timberland that has burned in the state. Uh, but uh, now we're getting into a situation uh, that, that truly affects the lives of, of people uh, more so than uh, just the, uh, the, the timber burning. Um, as we see behind us here, uh, this is Lake Purdy, and uh, Lake Purdy uh, uh, is, is one of the uh, water sources, obviously, for uh, the Jefferson County and some of Shelby County. Uh, and it, and it uh, supplies water for 600,000 people in this area. Uh, Opelika is also having some problems. Um, this is the, actually the lowest. Uh, uh, Ken DeLapp, uh, who, who manages this here, tells me that this is the lowest he has seen it. Uh, our statistics says it's the lowest that it's been in 35 years, and the second lowest it's ever been in history. Uh, so uh, we're really having a problem here in the Birmingham area. Uh, and, and, it's, and it's getting very serious. Uh, the the uh, Birmingham Water Works Board uh, sent me a letter that I received this morning. Uh, they will be going to a stage four uh, emergency uh, drought uh, situation, a stage four uh, by the end of this week, uh, which means that uh, the people who use more water than they should, uh, it's gonna cost more. So they, everyone that's listening uh, needs to be uh, very conservative about the amount of water they use because it is going to be more expensive. Uh, also, the Waterworks Board, uh, they, they certainly are working hard to, to make sure that, uh, that uh, any leaks that occur uh, will be fixed quickly, uh, and this certainly needs to be done. Um, we, we have a lot of problems, not only related to drinking water, but as I said, to uh, our forest burning, uh, also our farmers. Uh, I'll have a meeting on Wednesday with our Cattlemen Association, with uh, our farmers, uh, with a climate uh, climatologist, uh, uh, and and we're going to we're going to come to some conclusions uh, by this week about uh, what we should do as far as the state of emergency uh, for the state of Alabama, and maybe asking for some federal assistance uh, that uh, we we possibly could get, and so we'll be looking at this. Uh, Art Faulkner, our EMA director, is, he and I spoke a while ago. We'll be looking at that um, by the end of this week, and we'll make some decision on that. So uh, I'm open for any questions. Governor, what can you do to help them to get more water in this area? Well, there are some uh, sources of water uh, that, uh, that I'd rather not talk about right now because uh, that, that's what the, the uh, Birmingham Waterworks Board wrote me about. Uh, but we'll be working on that uh, source to see if we can possibly get that water uh, into the, into the, especially into the uh, area over in Shades Mountain. Uh, it's operating right now on uh, 27 million gallons per day, and uh, the minimum amount that they can even operate efficiently, efficiently is 25 million gallons per day. Uh, and so we need to uh, make sure that we have enough water so those plants can operate. Getting out of the car and seeing what this lake looks like, what was your first reaction? Well, I've, obviously, I've never seen it this low. Uh, I, I, I remember pictures, and it, it must have gone back to 1995 when that was uh, the, the most severe one that Mr. DeLapp says he remembers. Uh, I, I remember seeing pictures similar to this uh, a number of years ago. But uh, obviously, as you look around, uh, it's, you know, there, it's, it's only 25% full right now. So we don't have a lot of water in this reservoir. Along with the, you say there is a potential for a state of emergency, you were saying because of the drought or? Well, we're gonna look at that. Uh, we're gonna to look to see what uh, resources that we could secure if we declare a state of emergency. That obviously would help us on a federal level uh, as, as far as securing money from the federal government. Uh, and we will be looking at that towards the end of the week. What kind of resources would potentially benefit Alabama? Well, there may be some emergency monies that may be available uh, if, if we uh, 
are able to uh, convince them that, that there truly is a state of emergency here in the state. But, uh, you know, we really are having a difficult problem all over the state, especially uh, in north, north, uh, east Alabama and, and coming down through the central part of the state. Uh, the southern part of the state uh, is not having quite as much problems, but they're still having uh, drought conditions also. Governor, do you think everything that's in place, like the stage four uh, uh, ordinances are being implemented locally, does the state need to look at some sort of authority, if need be, to enforce conservation and penalize for conservation and, and drought emergencies? Well, we don't want to, uh, we, we want to encourage your conservation. Uh, you know, everyone needs to be thinking about that. I mean, when, you know, one of the things that a state of emergency does is it, is it raises people's awareness uh, of, the, of the situation. Uh, when I declare a state of emergency, uh, you know, you report it, everyone reports it, and, it, and it, uh, it really makes people think more about why they should be conserving water. Uh, we're in a difficult situation right now, and people need to realize that. Does this highlight even more the situation with Georgia over water? That's been going on for 20 years now, and it remains that way. Does this highlight a deal needs to be cut somewhere? Well, we're working on that right now. Uh, you know, I met uh, last month with Governor Deal. He and I, have, he and I have met uh, three or four times over the last couple of years, uh, and we felt like that we were fairly close. Uh, but uh, yes, this accentuates uh, uh, the need for that flow across the state line. And so uh, that's something that I will demand uh, as governor of Alabama that we will always have, uh, even in the drought time, and, and that's the time you look at it, uh, that we have an adequate amount of flow across the state line. Has the water board basically told you, this, I don't know, I guess how dire of a situation where people's lives, I mean, if you, people worry about water, people can get water, you know, it's like no lives are at risk, but what, how do they paint it when they talk to you? Who is this? I'm sorry. The Birmingham Water Works for you, or, or whoever's been talking Well, uh, you, you know, they just, they, they just give the statistics to me on, uh, you know, the, on what I've just repeated. Uh, and uh, they're just, they, they have to have a certain amount of water, especially over the Shades Mountain uh, plant. Uh, they have to have a certain amount of water to, to work every day so that it works efficiently. Well, guys, listen, thank you all. And uh, I appreciate you all coming out and, and really making the public aware of this situation. I know that people already are aware of it. But, uh, you know, uh, y'all do a great job, and I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for coming out today and, and, and helping uh, the, the city of Birmingham and, and, and Shelby County, Jefferson County. Uh, they, they're dependent on this water. And so we need to make people aware of conservation uh, efforts that, that, that we're taking place right, are taking place right now, uh, and ask people to please uh, recognize that. So thank you all.